All right, well, I was able to force it in, but I didn't want So unfortunately, we gotta take this drywall off of here. My first rehab, old new house, new to us. Apparently house. my first cleanup, huh? Okay, so that was a minor win, but now we gotta tackle the washer and dryer. Okay, folks, this was another gem of a challenge for us. So this is crazy. I've never seen anything like this, but I'm learning this gentleman was all right, if you've ever done battles with washers and dryers, you know how it can be. So. All right, so the movers will be here, I don't know, an hour and a half or so. And we moved out the refrigerator that's in here. We are still not positive ours is going to fit in there, but a water line. Oh, hallelujah. All right, we're deciding, but I'm. It, it's wedged in. I'm able to, like, forcefully kind of wedge it in. This wall may be flexing a tiny bit as this cabinet might be flexing. All right, well, I was able to force it in, but I didn't want to. So unfortunately, we gotta take this drywall off of here, and then we'll have to come up with a trim piece, kind of to match this maybe, a straight, maybe all the way up, but whatever, it is what it is. We don't wanna buy a new refrigerator right now. This is a good one, so this is coming out. My first rehab. of the old new house, new to us Apparently house. my first cleanup, huh? Probably, yeah. Some of these are nails and some are screws. That's kind of weird. Yeah, and what makes it challenging is all of these corners everywhere throughout the house. There are no right angle corners. They're all curved. Every one of them. I don't like that. It's not my design, but we're stuck with it. And it does not appear to be the wall with the hidden stash of cash in it, darn it. Which took shifts here, getting closer, mm -hmm. getting it cleaned up. It's like half nails and half screws. No rhyme or reason, really, but. Yeah. All right, so we got the uh, back all cleaned up, got all the drywall dust cleaned up. Uh, Joe just hooked up the water line and. Thankfully, it was the universal kind, so it fit with our new um, refrigerator. Ready to see if she drips. We couldn't. I couldn't find any pipe tape. I looked in my truck and some of my boxes from our barn and their leftover stuff, but they do have rubber sealers and they're they're flared. So. And it's a. It's only a year old. The refrigerator, maybe two. Yeah. Well, it's probably more than that. But. Wow. All right, here comes water. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, it's not running right now. It's not plugged in, so it's going to stop. All right, it's kind of giving us fits. It's wedging up here because they got a lift board in the back because the front is going to sit on the tile. So we got to trim a little more up front and try it again. You know? All right, the moment of truth here. Uh, they, you can't guide the water line to, like I would like, but it is stainless, so... Hopefully it finds a, its right path. Just a hair. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what?
Okay, so that was a minor win, but now we gotta tackle the washer and dryer. Now, I don't have a ton of pre-videos, but I'm gonna show you the way they had this thing set up and the challenges we had to go through and see if we can get a win on the washer and dryer because we need them set up. You know, we've been moving and living out of bags and stuff, so let's see how this is gonna go. All right, I got it cleaned up as best I can. And uh, you can see it's got like a, Mm, over here, I guess you can see it. It's got like a foil underneath it, and uh, you can just like, got a mesh, and then it's covered with some kind of I don't know plastic or something. Anyway, I know that looks really bad, um, but it's just piled up. That's how thick the whatever that stuff is. Um, so. Uh, I'm not really going to be able to take it out. Hopefully the back of the washer, the new one, is going to be okay there. I honestly, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to fit in the tray. Okay, folks, this was another gem of a challenge for us. So this is crazy. I've never seen anything like this, but I'm learning this gentleman was like uber 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 prepared he didn't want any water here and he didn't want any water in the basement so he actually poured two foundations in the basement so anyways this is a contraption it's homemade it's fiberglass okay and the the white pipe you see here i ended up having to break it off i was starting to get a little angry so i busted this thing off and what this was was basically a water catch you know should the washer leak at some point so you'll see there's going to be a hole in the floor and then there's a septic pipe and then they had a little drip catch they had a little elbow down there like i said i didn't get a lot of video wasn't really happy but i'm documenting this for you because this is keeping it real so we we tore this out we broke the lines and i was able to, after two trips to menards get the right pipe cap so it, it did tie into the septic system should the washer have ever leaked so anyways i had to tear this all out and work on the washer and dryer and then that's where we're going to continue on here all right if you've ever done battles with washers and dryers you know how it can be so we got that snafu cured we got a cap on that glued down that was the leak thing that the drip thing they had and after like three different trials at getting them installed we're, we're we think we're good to go so we're running a test checking our water lines and we got all new dryer hook up back there it's all good to go fingers crossed we're going to test the water pressure okay there's like sounds like six or eight whippoorwills. It's like stereo whippoorwills.